Hey guys, it's Brandon Baum here, and today we're going to be breaking down exactly how I made this. So this video was created in three separate sections. At first, I filmed a shot running towards the camera and at the last moment jumping to the left onto a nearby sofa. Then I went upstairs to my bedroom, set up a green screen and filmed multiple shots jumping from my desk onto my bed. Lastly, for our main angle, I played our first clip on the computer screen, waited until I jumped out of frame and then a few moments later walked into shot. And now we're ready to edit. To start, we're going to open up Video Leap, selecting the plus icon and import our green screen and main angle into the project. We're going to select and drag in our green screen layer and bring this on top of our main angle. We're then going to scrub through the footage to try and find a frame where I'm flying straight through the air. Then once we're happy, we're going to select on mask and make a rectangular mask around my body. I'm going to use two fingers on the mask to affect the position and scale and then one finger on the side just to affect the width. Now we've got it perfect for one frame, we're going to want to select on the keyframe button and then scrub backwards and forwards on the timeline, adjusting the mask wherever we need. The idea here is to only have my body in the green screen in shot. Great, now you'll see in my footage towards the end you start to get a bit of the bed coming in shot, but don't worry, we're going to come back to it and sort it at the end. The main goal is to try and keep your body in shot for as long as possible. Up next, we're going to scrub back to a section where you can see lots of the green screen in shot, and then come out of the mask tab and select on chroma. We then want to select on a clean section of green in our shot to key out the green screen. Great, now that we can see both layers at the same time, we're going to want to synchronize their timings. So to do this, we're going to scrub on the timeline and find the point on the iMac layer where I've jumped halfway up the screen. In my case, I'm going to need to trim the beginning of the clip so I'm able to drag it backwards. We then want to take our green screen layer and drag it backwards to a point where it looks like half our body's coming out of the iMac. So now that we've got the timings perfect, we're going to want to reposition the layer so the height of me inside the iMac is the same of me jumping out of the iMac. As we've already created lots of keyframes on our green screen layer, instead of adjusting every single one of those, we're just going to select on the layer beneath it and adjust the position and scale of that. So we're just going to select on that layer. Using two fingers again, we're going to pinch and scale it so the lines match up. Perfect. Up next, we can see that I land a little bit short. To fix this, we're going to animate my body to move further and faster out of the frame. We're going to make sure we got our green screen layer selected and scrub to a frame where my feet are fully in shot. We're then going to scrub along the toolbar and hit freeze. Now what this has also done at the same time is move our mask. So we're just going to adjust it by selecting back in the mask tab and moving our rectangular mask back over our body. Now that we've got this layer completely frozen, we're going to select on the keyframe button and slide across forward to a point where we think we would have landed. Once we found the point we think that could be, we're going to drag this layer all the way out of shot and this is automatically going to create our second keyframe. Now I can see what I've just done did not work at all, so to fix this I'm going to move the keyframes closer together and also add a rotation to the fall. We're going to keep refining this until we've got to a place where we're happy. Great, now we are almost there and onto our last step. We're going to select on our bottom layer, slide across on the toolbar and hit duplicate. We're then going to select on our duplicate layer and drag and hold it above all the other layers. If when you drag it, it doesn't go to the very top, slide across on the toolbar to arrange and then slide the slider all the way across to number two. With this layer still selected, we're going to want to hit on mask and create a linear mask. We're going to rotate it around and make the mask start just at the edge of the iMac screen. We're then going to drag it out with one finger just to feather the edges. Lastly, as this is currently giving us the inverse of what we want, we're going to slide across on the mask menu and hit invert. Perfect, and it's finally time to watch it back and see what we've made. Now, I want to see you guys at home recreating this VFX. Upload your versions to TikTok and Instagram using hashtag VideoLeapChallenge and hang myself, Brandon underscore Baum. As always, I'll be taking a bunch of my favorites and throwing them onto my stories. So guys, good luck.